Hey there, Sharon Horn-Elstrom here. Welcome to day 25 of the BU 365 Day Challenge. Do one thing every day that improves us. Today we're going to talk about energy. Do you have energy? Got energy? And I want to start, we could talk, remember, energy is everything, right? Energy makes up everything, depending on what you believe metaphysically. All of us, everything, everything we see, everything we experience is a form of energy. What's the cool thing about energy? Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It just changes form. So to me, that means that we are everlasting cop stoppers, like Charlie in the chalk factory. Watched with my granddaughter the other day. But really, we are, are infinite, I think. We're infinite human beings. We're infinite. But do we always feel like we have infinite energy? I want to start out with a card and an affirmation today, but I need a magnifying glass so I can read what it has to say. <clears throat> I'm not sure this is from, I again, I'm not sure what deck this is from. I'll have to look it up. But it says, I am healthy and filled with energy. I am healthy and filled with energy. And then on the back side, if you can see without my ring light making weird reflections on it, I feel the bounce in my step. I see my shining eyes. The radiant me is right here. I claim it now. Now, this reminds me that a lot of how much energy we feel is, of course, tied to our thoughts, our beliefs, and our feelings. Also, what's going on around us. If we're in a, a negative, uh, low energy, low frequency, we could talk about frequencies now. We could talk about measures of energy. We could talk about types of energy. But really, all we care about is how do I get more energy? How do I feel energized and excited and engaged in whatever it is that I'm doing or I want to be doing? Well, there's usually eight different ways we can do that. And then I'll share a couple as I'm talking about these of the things I actually do. One of the things I, well, and we'll talk about it as we go through the list. So the list is control stress. Now, <laughs> and our associated emotions, right? Well, easier said than done, right? We all have this roller coaster of experiences and emotions that we're all going to feel. And sometimes we get emotions that give us more energy, like curiosity and excitement and adventure. Those give us more energy or love. Others give us just the opposite. Despair, depression, hate, sadness, loss, grief. Those are like negative energy, low energy, low vibrating energies. We're going to talk about this a lot during next month, actually, as we talk about the emotional guidance system. But for right now, just realize that our stress level has a huge impact on our energy. If I am super stressed out and overworked and frustrated, I don't have very much energy. I'm not excited to solve the problems that I'm facing. And so I don't get the best results. Number two, we want to lighten our load, meaning if we're stressed out because we're overworked and overloaded, we want to learn to say no to things. I used to be the queen of saying yes to everything. And, you know, I sacrificed my health, my sleep, which is part of my health, my nutrition, my exercise. I sacrificed everything because I was doing things I thought I should do and saying yes to things that I didn't even kind of want to do, much less did I was I excited about them? So how, how much energy and how good a job was I actually doing on all those things that were overloading me? Probably I wasn't bringing my best version of me there, right? Number three, we want to exercise. And exercise is almost guaranteed to get us better sleep. If we're moving and having some activity during the day, it will impact our life in so many ways. We talked about, actually we're gonna talk about exercise in a couple of days. Avoid smoking. Now I've never been a smoker, so I can't speak to that one, but apparently smoking, I guess smoking relaxes and, and depresses and uh, takes our frequency down. So that would make sense that we'd have less energy if we smoke. Um, it also restricts our breathing, right? If, if smoking impacts our breathing, then we're not getting the air and the circulation that we need. So that makes sense too. Number five, uh, restrict your sleep. Now, I don't know if that means don't sleep too much, but I think it means make sure you're getting enough sleep but not too much sleep. Because if you get too much sleep, then that zaps your energy, right? Two, uh, think teenagers are having a growth spurt. Remember, our bodies only heal themselves when we're sleeping. So teenagers, when they're growing and changing, and babies too, they sleep a lot. But other times, we don't need as much sleep. Now, I recommend more than four hours, probably eight. They say eight, seven to eight. I think six to seven is optimal for me personally these days, but it, it depends on you and what feels right to you. Remember, we're always testing things out on ourselves. We're always using ourselves 
as our own science experiment. And if we feel better, we have to determine what our sleep schedule is, how much we need to sleep. We just talked about sleep the other day. Uh, eat for energy, six, number six, this is an important one. Uh, there are certain foods, and again, testing on yourself, you'll find out we talked about nutrition the other day. It was just yesterday. Anyway, day before yesterday, the supplements yesterday. Different things that we put in our body will give us different amounts of energy. Food is fuel. Food is what gives us energy. So don't not eat, because if you don't eat enough, you're not going to have any energy. If you eat too much, you get lethargic and you don't have energy either. Seven, use caffeine to your advantage. So, me, I was going to not actually have a cup of coffee today. And then I was like, no, that's crazy. I like my coffee in the morning. Go get a cup of coffee. Ah, so I use caffeine to my advantage. I use it in the morning for, I, I usually only have a couple cups a day now, which makes me pretty proud of myself because I used to drink two pots a day. That was too much. I wasn't using caffeine to my advantage. I was using caffeine to supplement my overwork and overload, which increased my stress. It gave me more short-term energy, but it increased my stress because it impacted my sleep and, and exercise and nutrition and everything. And finally, um, limit alcohol. Oh, not finally. Eight, limit alcohol. Nine, drink water. Drink more water. One of the biggest health pieces of advice I can give almost anyone that I talk to is you just ask people, how much water do you drink a day? And the vast majority of the population will tell you none, unless it's super duper hot out or they live in a hot part of the country or the world and they have to have water or they'll dehydrate and die. The vast majority of humans, we consume a lot of other beverages, but we don't consume enough water. And guess what? Water and coffee or tea, it doesn't count to our body, right? Because our body has to separate out the water from the coffee or the tea or the flavoring. Pop counts as negative. It doesn't count as any intake of fluids, right? <coughs> water is water. So those are just nine things. Now, another thing, I, I like to do other things to help increase my energy too. I... Uh, know that I have more energy when I'm doing things that I like and feel good about than when I'm doing things that I don't like. So if I have a task to do that I don't want to do, say I got to clean the bathroom or do the dishes or clean the kitchen or something because um, I don't have help. If I have to do that, I reward myself for doing that. That gets me the energy and excited to do it because I know at the end of it, I'm going to have a little reward. And I actually keep a list of rewards, 10 or 30 things I like to do on the refrigerator. And if I'm stressed out or overloaded or feeling negative energy or just tired, so maybe, maybe you just take a five minute nap or a 20 minute nap. Nowadays, I just listen to a meditation or a uh, a hypnosis or something for 20 minutes or 50, 50, even five minutes, five to 20 minutes, or I'll sit down and I'll meditate for, for five minutes, or I'll just sit down and I will sit outside in nature and breathe, or I'll just look out the window and breathe and calm down and focus. And that recharges my batteries and gets me more energy. I also pick clothes and colors that I like to wear. And now sometimes you have influence over what you get to wear or not, sometimes you don't. If you wear a uniform for work, I hope it's a color that you like. <laughs> if it's not, that tends to decrease your energy. So things like that. I, I always think I'm going to pick my own uniform and create my own because that would save the time and energy of having to pick out what I'm going to wear every day. But I, I don't because I like variety and that gives me more energy than having the decision made for me. And I have, I have worn uniforms in the past, which was a huge change for me because I pushed against and, and didn't want to wear uniforms and I wore them at one of my corporate jobs and I was like oh my gosh why have I been putting this off so long because it was so easy just to get ready for work every day you know I had a little variety in my uniforms but for the most part and so did my kids they went to uh, a Catholic school and they wore uniforms and I was like I, I should have known because it was so easy to for you know the first eight years of their life getting them ready for school and things you just you know go in your closet pick out a sweatshirt pick out a shirt pick out pants or a skirt if you're a girl and then go and it was just a no-brainer how to get dressed and everything matched right so you just picked and pulled one of each part of your body coverage and boom you were off to the races so find things like that that can serve your energy and make your life easier we'll talk about a lot of those things throughout this annual challenge because I am all about making things automatic, making things easy, creating systems and things that make my life work. And I, I'm going to share all those things that I do with you here on this annual challenge. 
Any questions about energy? All we're going to do for energy today is our action item is to think about your energy as you go throughout your day. Notice what times of day you have the most energy or what times of day you don't. I am obviously a morning person. I have the most energy first thing in the morning, first thing when I get up. Um, and I have the least amount of energy right before bedtime. So I plan my schedule and my activities according to my <coughs> available energy. Um, and just share in the comments below on a scale of zero to 10, one to 10. I always say one to 10 because in, unless we're dead, we're not at a zero. So one to 10, what do you think your current level of energy is? Share in the comments below. I'll share mine too. And I'll be with you tomorrow. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, have an absolutely energetic, exciting, fun day. Remember, you are healthy and filled with energy, just like I am.